Hey everybody, this is Alzareth, and welcome to a bit of a side episode for Diablo 2. Uh, kind of a celebration of hitting 3,000 subs, but whatever. But anywhoozle, we are here talking about how to get the ladder rune words working. There's going to be other things you'll see kind of floating around in the background as we are doing this. Um, you can see things that I'm probably going to write guides on as well. In addition to this, you can see that we have the glide wrapper in here as well. It's going to be a different video. You'll find it on the channel soon enough. But we're going to keep this bite size and just focus in on getting those ladder rune words working. Now, if you want to get the ladder rune words working, you need the text file for it. And I've actually uploaded that to my Discord. You can also find it there's several Google locations for it. If you search the internet, you can find them as well. But if you go to the Discord, you can see that it goes to the server, other downloads, and I've made a copy of it here in the other downloads folder down under files. So you can just grab that, download it, and be perfectly happy with that. That's going to be your runes.txt file. You'll see it in just a minute whenever we bury it in there. But after you grab that, just put it on your desktop or something. It'll be fine. You want to go to where your Diablo 2 game is installed. I've created a copy of Diablo 2 just for like these kind of mods and stuff. I have the base install right there. And then we come in here to Diablo 2 Modified, which is where I have this one currently installed. You can kind of see it floating over there on the right as well. But what you want to do is whenever you come in here, you want to actually be creating some folders. Now, a lot of the guides that I've seen on this don't tell you to create the folders. They just say put it there. You, you really do. You have to manually create data. And then you want to create the global folder inside of that, then the Excel folder, and then inside of that, it will be empty whenever you first make it. Don't worry, it's not going to just auto-generate right off the bat. You want to go ahead and create the rune, well, you want to copy the runes.txt file, this is this one right here, into there. If you open it up, it's just going to be a whole bunch of, like, garbage. Uh, if you don't know what to look for, there's actually MPQ editors that would make this look a little bit more sane. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's in there. You can actually modify this and create your own rune words if you really want as well, but it's complicated and I'm not going to get into that in this particular one. Um, this is actually a fairly common thing known to modders because generally speaking, you don't want to pack up the MPQs each time you're testing a change. So this is very familiar to me from way back in the day. But basically, you come in here, you drop it in there, and then you want to go ahead and have that running like that, but you also want to back back out to where your uh, application thing is here and you want to go ahead and create actually I have to right click on it create a shortcut you'll see it pop up in here I've already created one and moved it over here you can move it wherever you want but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that little one and the one that we have is actually the one that you see over here on the right that is this shortcut properties right here the important tab for this particular thing is going to be over here on the uh, shortcut tab target and you'll see that hey we've got all of these things kind of just chilling here. Retro games, D2 Modified, Diablo 2 XE, and then you've got the modifiers outside of the quotes. Uh, most of these are not going to be important to you. The important one for this is this dash text. It's just TXT. There is no E in there. This forces it to actually search for the text data, and that is the one that's going to tell it to say, hey, we've got special... Um, files on here that need to be addressed and it's going to go ahead and look for them. Now it is worth noting that I also have dash direct on here. This is useful if you have like all the MPQs put on there. So most modern systems have enough room that you can move them all onto here. I actually have all of these on here. Um, you want to do the dash direct as well if you can do that because it's going to make it run a little bit easier. And I think if you download it off the Blizzard website, it comes it'll automatically run those i just have this in here because it's habit i don't know if it actually is still applicable and you can ignore this 3dfx later like for now because that's going to actually be part of the glide wrapper tutorial which i think some of you are interested in as well because that's actually how i do the uh channel stuff um, i'm gonna go ahead and open up diablo 2 real quick and you can kind of see just how it looks and this is actually how i have all this running um, i'm gonna go ahead and open it up you can see that it opens in a little window right there. So that's going to be kind of what you're going to be seeing in the Glide Wrapper video. But that's how I get like all the insights. I get edges. I get stuff like that. Um, specifically from Ladder Rune Words. Uh, you can create your own like I said. But it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and exit Diablo 2 again. And it's going to be a little bit flickery there for a second. Because you know transitioning is not OBS's best suit. But that's basically how you install it. If you have any questions, ask them down below. I'll try to be more clear about them. I'll also include at least a bit of text regarding this and links to permanent 
pertinent things, if I can think of any. But it's a pretty straightforward process. You do, do want to generally make a backup whenever you're doing stuff like this because you could get a corrupt file. You could get things that are kind of dinked up. But other than that, it's not really that risky of a thing to modify. So, anywho, hopefully that helped you guys out. And if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on another Diablo 2 related video or many of the other Let's Plays you'll find on this channel. Bye.